Not the least the good gifts that Cornell confers upon its sons and daughters are the enduring memories of lovely landscapes, recollections of the poignant beauty of the spring when it bursts through the hills after the long winter and brings all the world to life again. For the university had the good fortune to be born a little closer to the stars on a hilltop from which the cloistered scholar, merely by turning his head, can gaze off 40 miles to where the sky comes down to meet the waters of a great blue lake, and there check his findings and conclusions against the handiwork of the glaciers which cut the gorges and created the waterfalls which surround him long before anybody ever heard of Aristotle. It isn't enough to swallow the materials of culture and knowledge and understanding, which sometimes add up to education. One must digest them, too. And there are those of us who think that this assimilation can be the better accomplished through the four years of life's little springtime in a land where lie, either in sight or in walking distance, some of the more breathtaking examples of the creator's artistry. At Ithaca, these things are not merely to be looked at, they're to be lived in, made use of, and enjoyed. These outdoor swimming pools are on the campus itself, within a minute or two of the classroom door. On a warm day, a vacant hour suffices to cool the sticky student and to bring him back refreshed for his next assignment, provided he doesn't attempt high dives beyond his capabilities. But life at Ithaca is not all scenery and superior swimming holes. Cornell is an educational foundation with a serious purpose, offering the widest range of educational opportunity the watchword of the place has become freedom with responsibility, which is currently interpreted to mean that here the student is free to do pretty much as he chooses, but is responsible for what he chooses to do. And if he desires to remain, he'd better choose to do a lot of hard, serious, methodical study along with his high diving. The undergraduates you see have done just that. If they hadn't, they wouldn't be here. Perhaps before going further, it should be explained that Cornell has a dual personality. It is a private, endowed university, comprising the colleges of arts and sciences, mechanical, civil, electrical, aeronautical, and chemical engineering, architecture, fine arts, business and public administration, education, and law, and in New York City, medicine and nursing. Under contract with the state of New York, Cornell also administers the state colleges of agriculture, home economics, veterinary medicine, and the newly created School of Industrial and Labor Relations. But the distinction between the state and endowed colleges is largely a matter of bookkeeping, finance, and administration, does not concern the students, all of whom are members of the same university and eventually receive its degree.